everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I've decided to show you what I keep in my everyday makeup bag. So although I have a dressing table with a drawer where I store the majority of my makeup, I do like to have a daily makeup bag where I keep the products that I am going to use every day no matter what. The only thing I don't keep in here is like lipsticks, foundation and concealer. Those are the sort of things that I like to switch up on a daily basis or maybe every couple of days. So I keep those in a storage in my dressing table so if you would like to see where I keep the rest of my makeup and the setup I have to do my makeup just leave me a comment below and I can quite easily do a makeup collection and storage video or a dressing table tour whatever you would like to see but for today I'm just going to show you what I keep in here what I like the boat what I like the the most no what I like the most and if you want to see the products that I keep in my makeup bag just keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy so I'm just going to start by telling you about the makeup bag itself it's just this little sort of an emerald green I'd say it's from Bourgeois I got it with a Christmas set it came with a few products inside um, I just quite like this bag, bag to be honest um, so we're gonna go inside it and I'm gonna pick something out at random okay the first thing I've got is this L'Oreal Paris bronzer and I think it's highlighter yeah it's a highlighter as well it's the glam bronze kit from L'Oreal <coughs> choking myself it's the glam bronze kit from L'Oreal this is about £10 I think from Boots or Superdrug um, I quite like this it's a good tone bronzer it's not too orangey or too ashy I don't really think you should use this for contour it's quite warm for that but for an overall daily bronzer it's a really good one next product I've picked out is a powder now I normally have the Rimmel Stay Matte powder but I forgot to repurchase it so I thought I would try out a new one and the one I decided to try is the Bourjois Paris Healthy Balance Matte 10 hour powder um it's a powder you know what else it's powder most powders do the job you can't really go wrong with a basic powder um i think it's colored yeah it's the shade 52 vanilla because i'm quite pale normally anyway um so that's that's it really it just looks like that with a little mirror quite handy looking but it's just it's a powder it's just a powder really isn't it <laughs> next thing i have pulled from my bag of goodies is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I honestly could not do my makeup anymore without a setting spray. The way it makes your makeup look after you've applied powder, it just literally makes it look like it's your skin again without sitting on top of it. Um, I like the Dewy Finish one because I like a I like a dewy finish. Um, the next one is about £7 so it's also not too expensive. I have had the Urban Decay All Nighter before but it's about £22 and to be honest that is a lot of money to pay for something that you actually use quite a lot of so if you're just thinking of trying to try if you're thinking of trying a setting spray then I would recommend this one as a go-to for maybe your first setting spray next product I have pulled away from my bag is the little eyeshadow palette that I use on a daily basis basically it's the L'Oreal Paris La Palette Nude sorry if I pronounce that really funny um not very good at French it's French right <laughs> Anyway, inside it's quite a rosy tone sort of palette, so they're very pink toned. Oh, it's the rose one, so that would be the reason why. <laughs> but they are quite nude shades, to be honest. They're quite similar. To be honest, a lot of them are quite similar, you know. It costs about £10, but a lot of them are very similar. <laughs> anyway, it ranges from... Anyway, they range from very pale, shimmery shades to a very dark purple. Um, I'd recommend it. It's a very good palette. Um... There's a lot like this to be honest, but it's just a nice compact one that I can use on a daily basis and keep in my makeup bag. It also came with a little brush, but let's be honest, no one ever keeps those and uses them. Next thing I keep in my makeup bag is a little sleek makeup blush trio. This is the shade Pink Lemonade. It comes with icing sugar, macaron, mac macaron, and pink mint colour shades things. And um, if I just open this up for you guys, it looks like that really gorgeous colors we've got an orangey tone shimmery one a pink and gold shimmery rose goldy one and a cream blush which is quite a mauvey color to be honest um it's good but it's not my favorite blush i've ever used um i think my favorite actually is my revolution blush palette but it's very big so i tend to just keep this one in my makeup bag in case i need to grab it and go but i have got there's a fly in here 
great. I have got my Revolution one on my dressing table, so like I said, if you want to see that in a makeup collection and storage tour, then I will gladly do that for you guys. Next product I have selected is my L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim. Um, oh, intense black. It has got a shade. I thought they'd all be black, to be honest, but apparently not. Um, it's got a very fine little nib, a little zoom like they do <laughs> back in the old days of YouTube. It's got a very fine nib that's actually quite sturdy, actually. Um, you get a nice cat flick with it. Cat flick? No, you don't get a nice cat flick. You get... <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying today, guys. I'm a bit... I'm useless. <laughs> you can get a nice winged eyeliner with it. It's very slim. Lasts a really long time as well. It's very black, so... Yeah, I think it's about £7 worth, so it's quite cheap, so nice on the pocket with all your money. Yes. I give up. <laughs> it's nice on your budget. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. Next item is for my brows. This is the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Espresso. As you can see, I have dark hair. It's quite obvious that I have dark hair. You, you can see that. <laughs> I like to state the obvious because I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, it's a really good eyebrow product. It literally does not come off your eyebrows all day. And you can rely on it not to smudge. If I accidentally wiped my eyebrow, forgetting I had eyebrows on, then it would not come off. It would not smudge. And it's actually a really good colour match as well. They do loads of colours. So if you're blonde, really dark haired, auburn, you know, you can find a colour that will match you. And I think it's only about £5. So that's a really good budget friendly eyebrow product really. The last two items in my makeup bag now, obviously I use more products on a daily basis but I keep a lot of my palettes out obviously because I don't fit in my makeup bag but obviously as I've said about three million times now you can always request me to do my dressing table tour and I will do that for you. So anyway the next thing is the last, last uh, there, there. The next thing is the Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara by Maybelline. Um, it's in the shade Intense Black. It's a mascara. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> it's an amazing mascara. The brush is curved, so it gives you loads of curl. Obviously, I curl my eyelashes anyway, but it keeps the curl in place as well. It doesn't come off throughout the day. It is my favourite mascara ever, and I would never go back to any other mascara now that I've discovered this one. The last product is something I feel like a lot of people have in their makeup bag, whether they wear a lot of makeup or not, and it is just a simple black eyeliner. It's the Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Col Cajal. Um, it's waterproof, lasts all day, doesn't smudge, goes in your waterline, goes in your tight line. It, it's actually just, it's just an eyeliner. <laughs> It works really well actually, I really like it and it's very very black as well so that and that is it, that is everything I keep in my makeup bag, I hope you guys enjoyed that, like I've said a million times now if you want to request any videos just leave me a comment down below, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time, bye! <laughs>